All right, it is December 2nd. It's about 29 degrees outside. We're gonna, I just wanna show you, some of this is sand that you're seeing, but this is frost. It's a real, real, real cold day. See if we can even see it on the camera here. See that there? See if it'll focus but yeah we got frost pretty good a uh, bit the yard was a lot you can look down here by the fire pit there's a bunch of frost in that little area but just look how good capsicum flexuosum will do for you in these cold colder months I mean they're just full of berries this is one plant here in this pot. Look at that. They're flowering. They just don't mind. Everything else, you know, I brought in anything that was really important because it would have put an end to the life of most of the peppers that I grow. Things like this. They don't usually like this very much. The days you got to run your um, outside spigot around here are days that it's pretty much over for your pepper growing season also just because we're looking at capsicum flexuosum here but right next to it this is another plant back here try not to actually look this is a capsicum rhomboidium rhomboidium however you want to say it and it's got flowers it's got berries the green ones I know there's a ripe one somewhere or the other. There we go. Look at it. Look at all those berries. These ones don't mind the cold either. These are from, I read on Fatali's website, they're from Chiapas, Chiapas, Mexico, which might be a mountainous kind of situation. They do really good here over the winter. Rhomboidium and Flexuosum. Wow, there's frost on the ground. This is uh, North Florida. But we are maybe about 10 minutes away from the Gulf of Mexico. But it's freezing cold. We got the long johns on today. Just wanted to shoot this video. I think it's kind of worth mentioning. They just really do not mind the cold. Capsicum flexuosum. All right, thanks, y'all.